Hi there, Z here, and in today's video, we're going to be covering an article that I wrote over at Medium, and it's around something called the wedding seating plan problem. And what it is, is uh, if you ever had to arrange a wedding or any sort of a uh, large event where you've got uh, a lot of guests, and you need to decide how to seat them at the tables, um, and you have constraints where you want certain people to be together in the same table, but you want some other people to be apart, then uh, you'd have a good idea of what I'm talking about. So uh, in the uh, Medium article and a longer video uh, that accompanies it, I'm going to be walking through uh, two approaches uh, in a lot of detail. So one of it uh, being called a naive brute force uh, search and another one called simulated annealing and uh, in the article I also cover uh, a high level overview of uh, a range of other uh, methods that you can use so uh, if you're interested uh, do have a look uh, at the article or watch the longer video and uh, the tools that are covered in the article and video are freely available on a github uh, repository. Uh, the link will be in this video but also in uh, the article and uh, you can use it yourself. So here's an example where you've got uh, 32 guests and uh, some constraints and um, it solves for the constraints by uh, looping through where it's uh, generating different permutations to try and see whether it can find uh, a seating arrangement where everybody is happy like this one where uh, we went through 300 out of uh, 1000 loops and uh, it stumbled upon a solution where all the conditions are met and uh, going beyond just Excel uh, there's also uh, a number of uh, Python notebooks that you can download from the GitHub repo that allow you to um, export information in terms of inputs from uh, a spreadsheet or you know to even develop it directly in Python itself and uh, go through the same sort of um, calculations and export the results back in a CSV file so it's for both uh, the brute force approach but also the simulated annealing approach where at the end of it uh, you get table assignments uh, that are recommended by the program so uh, I hope that uh, this is interesting enough that uh, you check out the article and uh, have a watch of the longer video. Right, uh, till next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.